welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, put the bell button on for more notifications. See what, who, me, moi, this chick right here. Welcome to my channel where I do music, I do commentary, I do reviews, I do comedy. I do it all. Why? Because it's for that China and I can do what I want. Anyway, you're in for a special treat. I'm doing a voiceover only because as I'm doing this video, I'm actually getting ready to do another video. My day today is jam-packed as it was yesterday today i just got so much going on be on the lookout you guys know i do music you guys so i'm like totally preparing myself for a performance so if you just like hear a lot of noise a lot of <coughs> rattling ain't nobody getting their ass whipped right you know what i mean it's not a it's not an emergency it's just a lot going on right now at, at this present time so if you hear things going on flying around people yelling and stuff it is what it is. Anyway, um, I know I'm a little late on this video. Where, where is Wendy Williams? That was on Lifetime. Y'all, the way this... I don't even know if it was a documentary. The way that this show... I guess you could call it a show. What do you really call it? Because it wasn't like a documentary. It wasn't. It was following... The day in the life of Wendy Williams and the state that she's in today. And baby, it tugs at my heartstrings. If you watched it and didn't get teary-eyed, I don't know what to tell you. You ain't got no heart. You know what I mean? You have no empathy or no sympathy for anyone, baby. If it, it didn't tug at your heartstrings. Now, I really want to talk on this whole karma talk. Because baby, a lot of y'all is wicked. <laughs> A lot of y'all are really wicked. This whole karma talk. Let's dive a little bit into that, shall we? So let's start from the beginning. So a lot of the pages and bloggers and um, just outlets, pop culture outlets that I'm going to mention, um, I have nothing against them at all. But it's really to prove a point. And I think any of the people that own these outlets and own these blogs will tell you the same thing. If they, it, 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 they, they will tell you the same thing, but just about. Um, but let's start from the beginning, right? So, like, this whole karma talk, you know, this is the reason why she's so sick or, or allegedly dying, God forbid, dying or whatever the case may be is because she was so salacious and talking bad about people and dragging people. I'm just trying to figure out what is the difference from what Wendy was doing than what the neighborhood talk does, the shade room does, page six TMZ, Hollywood Unlocked, Zeus Network. What is the difference from what she was doing to what they were doing? Now, let's start from the beginning. Wendy Williams was the pioneer of all of this urban, salacious gossip, spilling tea. She was the originator. She started on radio. See, a lot of y'all up and forget. Up and forget who started all of this. She was on radio, even got fired for gossiping. She was at the club. She was in the inner circle. She was around when the thing, when the goings on was really going on. She was around at the beginning. You see how everything is coming out now. Lawsuits and people suing certain celebrities. The whole P. Diddy situation and whatever, whatever that's about. I'm definitely not going to touch that with a 10 foot pole or go into that. Those that know, know Wendy was the first one to ever bring that up, to ever expose certain things in regards to him and certain regards to enter in certain things in, as it pertains to entertainers. She was the one that broke the stories over 20 years ago, baby. Over 20 years ago, she was breaking these stories that y'all think y'all breaking now. We been knew about this 20 something years ago. Baby, I'm showing my age, but it is what it is. Denver's World Hair Care line, an all natural hair and skin care line. We have amazing apple cider tea tree root rinse for dandruff. All natural with all natural ingredients and most importantly, affordable for you, your spouse, and even the kids. We also have the amazing papaya body oil and baby, it smells amazing. Don't forget to head over to DenverWorldHairCare.com. Use promo code WINNING for 20% off to see all the amazing goodies. 
So in essence, I completely feel like she definitely deserves her flowers. Like she would not have she would not have been able to go from radio to TV if people weren't watching. If people wasn't here for the mess, if people wasn't here for the salacious gossip, um 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 negative things said, whether true, whether false, if, if she would not have been able to be as successful as she was if people wasn't listening, if people wasn't watching. So to say, let's go back to the karma talk. To say that she deserves this, I'm trying to figure out then we all do. <laughs> We all do because y'all still subscribe to Zeus and everybody kicking everybody's ass over there. Kudos to them and what they have going on. Like I said, nobody that I'm mentioning I'm up against or I'm trying to drag in any shape, way or form. I'm just saying. It's very hypocritical of you guys to say that the reason why she deserves this is because she was talking bad about people. But we looking at your followers, baby, and your followers are saying you like people spilling tea, gossip, whether true, whether AI, whether true, whether false, whether AI. OK, whether you heard it from a fifth party. You understand what I'm saying? You like the gossip. You like the tea. You're tuning in. So what is different? Now, listen, I, did I ever agree with everything that she has said? Did I find her wrong in a lot of situations? Absolutely. I was never like a diehard fan of Wendy, but this is not how I want to see her go out. And this is heartbreaking when we tend to see some of our black pioneers, some of, um, our black artists, some people that have paid the way for a lot of us today. It's so hard for me to watch them go out bad, like go down real bad. It's really hard for me to watch. But nonetheless, this whole karma talk, like I, I'm just not understanding. There are good people that get dementia or that get terribly ill or that are battling an addiction, alcohol addiction or various addi addictions or that even get cancer, you know, have a stroke, diabetes, heart attack. Like there's a lot of good, good, kind hearted people that get absolutely sick. So to say what was there is is that their karma? And they didn't do half of what Wendy has done in terms of being really mean and nasty to people in you guys' eyes. You understand what I'm saying? So what's their karma? Because good people get sick too, okay? If we're going to talk about quote-unquote good or bad people, right? So I'm just trying to understand what are y'all saying because it's really not making sense to me. And then we want to also I, have, I remember bringing up on Facebook yeah I remember bringing up on Facebook um, because now we found out that Wendy is in a conservatorship and I just said we need to wrap our arms around uh, uh, Wendy the same way we wrapped our arms around Brittany and her conservatorship we were really uh, against that once we figured out what it was and that deep dive honey we were really pretty much against it so I'm trying to figure out why Anyway, needless to say, a lot of these bed bugs and country bumpkins had the nerve to drag me. And 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 I drag their ass right the fuck back because it's not making sense. Oh, well, Brittany was this way and, and, and Wendy's this way. But you was watching Wendy to know what she was doing. You were watching her. Her her shows had millions and millions of views. Okay? Um, kept getting renewed every year, every few years. So Somebody was watching, somebody was listening, somebody was tuning in, and she has supporters and fans. So I'm trying to figure out. And I'm like, we arguing on a whole blog site on the Book of Faces. You about the tea, you about the mess, you about the salacious content. And I'm just trying to figure out, y'all don't look in the mirror or really like ponder and think before y'all be posting this shit or, or talking, thinking you dragging somebody. I don't think maybe I'm being really hypocritical because it's not making any sense. It's not making any sense. Now, if you one person that just ain't a part of no gossip Facebook groups or or and, and ain't really into gossiping about celebrities, don't go back and forth. Then we shouldn't be seeing you comment. OK, we shouldn't be able to look at your followers and see that you like tea, piping hot tea, spilling all over your your new suit. You like tea. You like mess. So to say it's our karma is if that's how you uh, 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 
figure out uh, who's karma, who's deserving of this kind of karma and that kind of karma. Just by you saying she deserves to get sick and God forbid eventually pass away because if you're diagnosed with dementia, unfortunately, there's no getting rid of it. There's no reversing it. You can slow it down, but eventually you eventually it, it's death. Um, unfortunately and sadly for anybody that has had a family member that has gone through it, a loved one that has gone through it, that's the end result. Unfortunately, sadly, that's the end result. Um, so based off of you saying that, you should be receiving your karma too. Because how the hell are you going to say somebody deserves to die? Somebody deserves to get sick. Um, because you just don't like what they said about your faith like like make it make sense it's just not making sense to me but let's really get into this show where is wendy that tugged at my heartstrings really really bad now at first i thought what is going on with her family why didn't her family step up and then we i started getting into other episodes where i saw that she was with her son and her son was indeed taking really good care of her was spending money so a lot of people was looking at the sun oh eighty thousand dollars in uber eats like shout out to make it make sense sean davy way and chronicle speaks i love them so if you really really want a full full breakdown of what everything means definitely head over to their channel i'm like such a fan of theirs um so i'm not gonna go because i got so much other stuff to do i'm not really gonna go into details but um, you know, it has a side eye and looking at the sun like you were stealing from her. You was taking money from her. Then they said that this is what Wendy wanted. Wendy wanted him to spend her money. Let's spend mommy's money. Um, it wasn't like he stole it. And I could tell from a sincere place. Um, he admitted to it like, yeah, they 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 spent it. Him and his mom spent the money. And then it's just like if you're trying to lie, if you're trying to hide, if you're trying to steal from someone, you're not going to get on national TV and admit to anything. Um, so anyway, the courts got Wells Fargo got involved and I'm just trying to figure out wells fargo getting involved a whole bank getting involved yes i know for us that are maybe thousand heirs hundreds hundreds heirs you know <laughs> i just made that up um i know that a lot of times when i have used my card at a certain place an alert went off where it got declined and my bank got in touch with me and i had to let them know that it was me so that they could release the funds um, a lot of times they do that. If you're doing too much spending at one time, it's like that. I'm not going to get into the banks because that's a whole nother politics that I was sharing with my friend about. And baby, we ain't going to get into that on here. It's a lot of stuff that I will not get into on a public space. Um, but yeah, so that's what happened. So all of a sudden they just decided that she deserves a conservatorship. And I just... A guardian let can we really talk about this guardian this this clear woman these clear women that nobody knows first of all we then find out the publicist she was her publicist when wendy had fell asleep in one of those stores on the couch she fell asleep she was the publicist then and i'm just like what are you being paid to keep wendy drunk i had so many questions i'm like this is not even about the family because um, a lot of people think that conservatorship could, could, could needs to go to a family member. No, anybody could be your guardian. Anybody could be your guardian. A lot of times, nine times out of ten, a lot of people that want to step up and be your guardian wants to steal money. Because it's one thing to be a caretaker. It's one thing to... Um, and then it's a whole nother thing of conservatorship. That means a lot of money is on the line and a lot of people want to have their hands in the pockets and the wallets. In the piggy banks, baby. A lot of people want to steal. So we later found out that the attorney, Wendy's attorney had hired the publicist. The publicist that doesn't publicize. She doesn't do anything. She's not a publicist whatsoever. She doesn't really do her job. Then this whole thing where the publicist takes her to L.A. I think this whole team that she has from the lady that was helping her get dressed to the manager. How the fuck do you go from a jeweler that was providing 
uh, jewels, okay, and pieces, necklaces, and, 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 and bracelets, and watches, and shit to Wendy, how you become her manager from that? You have no managerial experience, in my humble opinion. From looking at him, I've never known him. You were selling jewelry, my guy. How do you go from that? It just got really, really weird. Is it just me? Y'all can comment below and let me know. It just got really, really weird. And even at the end, where they stopped the cameras from even seeing Wendy after she came back from L.A. Oh, the Guardian said this. The Guardian said that. I, I have mixed feelings, right? And then watching other people's reviews, I got my head on straight. I screwed my head on straight. I don't think it was the family. It's hard when you don't have the funds and you don't have the lawyers with superpowers, okay? It's hard to take down some a guardian in a conservatorship. It's extremely difficult. That's why I don't recommend or I don't believe in it at all. It's extremely difficult, especially if it's inside job, especially if the judge and the guardians are in on it and the attorneys is in on it and the publicist is in on it so that everybody can get a piece of the pie. It's extremely hard to break through. It's extreme because you got to really, really go through some some scamming, basically, um, in a nutshell. Um, so this guardian that nobody knows, this guardian that the family doesn't even know, now come to find out, once again, shout out to, to make it make sense, shout out to Sean Davey Way, the, the guardian is being sued for I think like $30 million, she's the guardian of someone else, and it's come out that she's been stealing, shout out to Chronicle Speaks, if y'all want to pause it and read what Chronicle Speaks had to say, it's a lot of information there, but I don't know these two women at the bottom here. Okay, that's looking like a big toe and a baby toe. I don't know these women at the bottom. Y'all know these women, and I'm pretty sure the family is not even familiar with these women. What people fail to realize, when you're under conservatorship, people could stop you from seeing your loved ones, speaking to your loved ones, force you to work. And I think that's what this whole uh wendy comeback story and her doing the podcast and she's ready to work and this lady is not in the position to work she's not in the position to work and watching this show this is not a wendy williams comeback story and i think that's why the guardian is allegedly <clears throat> suing uh i think it's a and e owns lifetime i'm not sure suing them um because it had them not looking in a, in a positive light. It exposed them. So now it exposed them so much that now uh, uh, the, the, the man that was selling um, the pieces, the jeweler, a.k.a. the manager, whatever else he was doing, the whole team has currently been fired, been let go. And I think that Wendy was... Because they're saying it's alcohol dementia. What I didn't even I, I I was taught something new. I didn't even know that that was a thing. But I think she still has the Wendy spirit in her. Okay, and anybody that's familiar with Wendy know the Wendy spirit in her. In a way, it's still some Wendy left in there. You understand what I'm saying? Where she said, "I'm gonna expose them." Wendy Williams is the executive producer of the show. So I think she knew there was still some shady business practices going on in her inner circle. And it just breaks my heart how she got scammed with her ex-husband, taking millions and millions of dollars from her. Every time we turn around, somebody's taking money from Wendy. And it's just, it, it was so sad that the, the part where her niece was there and the camera crew, the camera crew went in there to film one thing then turned around and ended up filming something else. The camera crew had to tell the niece she ain't got no damn food. And I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there watching this manager 
First of all, I'm like, why she ain't got no damn food? That pissed me off because they should be up in there feeding her. Y'all feeding her alcohol. So a part of me thought, are y'all feeding her alcohol to keep her docile, to keep her not in the right frame of mind? Because even the best friend that was on, I think Fox or CNN had said that they never met with doctors to get the diagnosis. This is just what the Guardian is telling the public. This is just what the Guardian is telling the family now let's just say she isn't sick i i at this point baby i i'm still slightly confused but we know that something is wrong okay Let, let's just say she's not sick okay under conservatorship a lot of times in some cases you know they might feed them drugs they might feed them alcohol just so they're they don't have their wits about them just so that they're not present and people can take advantage um so that's not uncommon um under the guardianship that's not uncommon if that is happening in this case it's not uncommon so it it just broke my heart then i'm seeing the jewel she ain't got no damn food okay let's go back to that because that really puts me off in the jeweler sitting here with all these damn chains and necklaces on and pearls around his neck diamonds glistening blinding us or on a damn television screen okay he got her food around his damn neck. That's the first thing I thought. Like, nigga, take off some of them necklaces and go get her damn sandwich. Go go to the damn shop right and get her something to eat. That's what really pissed me off. You wearing her food. That's what pissed me off. Okay. That's, that's what really pissed me off, y'all. But I just feel extremely sad. And I hope that this is the start of an investigation. Um, because she should have food. Now, all of a sudden, she's in an inpatient facility. I don't even think her family knows where she is. So now we're back to the where's Wendy in real life. For real, for real. Nobody really knows. I don't even think her family knows where she is. So, and the court documents have been sealed according to Make It Make Sense. So it's not like... You could read the court documents. Now, the court documents are sealed for a reason, baby. They don't want you to know the goings-ons up than goings-ons, all right? But I feel extremely bad for Wendy, and I need y'all to stop talking about this karma thing. This woman has been through enough, and you saying that somebody deserves this or this is this is her karma. You better be you better watch out because your your karma could be around the corner just for saying somebody deserves something so horrific such as this. Um, it's just really sad. It's it's really really sad. Sound off in the comments. I know y'all. A lot of y'all in the comments of my last video tried to drag me. The PSA. P.S. Motherfucking A. Because I didn't dress address y'all address y'all in the last uh, video because I obviously couldn't. The video was done, and I tried to get some of y'all together in the comment section. Y'all not about to do that in this video. Let me tell you something. I do a lot of comedic content and I know that various people from from different walks of life love my content and kiki and laugh with me and I love that and I adore that especially if it's people with the right spirit the right heart kind hearted allies I, I adore that but let me just tell you first and foremost I'm black first and foremost always and forever I'm black I'm going to die black I'm going to live the out the rest of my life as a full on black woman okay both parents black grandparents black i'm a full-on black woman i'm i'm black first so don't get it twisted when you see my content and i speak up for my people or i speak up for people that are being mistreated in general even if they don't look like me don't ever ever in your life get it twisted because i will drag every single one of y'all by y'all Glueless wigs. By y'all no edges having ass. I will drag y'all if y'all think that I should not be speaking on people that look like me. I'm going to always speak up for people that can't speak up for themselves in the midst of laughing, in the midst of comedy, in the midst of it all. I, 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 I Listen, I'm going to sing for y'all. I'm going to do a little dance and a dancery for y'all. I'm going to do a little comedy for y'all. But one thing I will not put up with is y'all thinking y'all can come for me. Um, when I decided to decide to speak up for people that look like me. Don't try it.
Y'all take that shit over to somebody else's page. Don't come here with that thinking y'all could check me when I'm telling you what's going on with people that look like me. I wouldn't do it to someone else when they talk about the experience of people that look like them because I'm not them. I can't speak on an ex someone else's experience and y'all not about to speak on mine and think you can because I make y'all laugh. Because at the end of the day, I don't play that. It's but so much kiki and a laugh that I'm going to do. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Put the, it wasn't all of y'all. God bless everybody. I thank everyone for the support. But a few of y'all that had a lot to say in the comment section last time, I will get your ass together every single time. Don't play with me. Play with somebody else. Now, we can laugh. We could drag a little bit. We could dance. We could smile. I could make you smile. I, I love all of my supporters from different walks of life. People that don't look like me from different parts of the world. I love y'all for real. But I'm not going to tolerate people that think that they can shut me up when I decide to speak up in a serious way. I love y'all for real. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button on for more notifications. All right. Bye.